and learn about many different service models and deployment models which we have on cloud computing and why and which we need to choose according to our requirements now we are going to start but our, uh, why we need to use aws or why we need to learn it and what are the benefits of learning it similarly we have cloud some or more cloud computing service provided like amazon web service which is aws salesforce amazon microsoft azure alibaba cloud ibm cloud gcp now why we should learn aws as we need to we need to learn new technologies and and technologies when we think about a cloud the first thing which we are uh, listening from everyone is Amazon Web Services, which is AWS. Why? It is the fastest growing cloud computing platform on the planet, largest public cloud computing platform on the planet. More and more organization outsourcing their IT to AWS. And as it, when we see uh, as we seen about deployment models, we can see here like uh, more and more organization outsourcing and they are considering uh, for hybrid cloud as per requirement and in a hybrid cloud when we talk about public cloud the another part of hybrid cloud we can see that everything is deployed is on aws or any other service provider. but more than more companies are trying to uh, deploy their all the services on aws and now aw we have aws certification and the most more they are the most popular it certifications in right uh, right now and top it it certification of for 2016 uh, according to forum now we have different types of certificates now we have associate level and professional level in which associate level we can get sol certified solution architect associate similarly developer associate and and also sysops administration associate and in professional level we have solution architect professional and devops professionals now what are the requirements to create an account on aws right so we go on the console here we can get the access to our console and when we go to the console we got the uh, console access here like we have the site we need to use is console uh, aws.amazon.com through any browser we can get access to it now here we can exit and if we do not have the account we just need a credit card as the requirements are written here we need to go here mastercard debit card and further we need to register ourselves and same we are uh, we can verify that we are human using different methods so now we can here go and click on create a new aws account so we can have email id which we need to like uh, xyz at the red gmail.com for example which we are using xyz the red gmail.com so i have another email so i can use that also so we can see nitish khanna 061 at the red gmail.com right we can have access to this uh, gmail and now we can use another like we have account name so i will using my name this karna and verify and email address so when we say verify it send a confirmation code to our email address so let me access to it so so now the verification code we need to enter which is a six digit so now right now i am having three eight four nine two zero four we say verify when we verify it's ask for our password so now password we can have different type of password for example right now i just going to enter one password and same password should be confirmed here when we successfully enter the same password we continue to the another steps we need here uh, actually i am already having account so we are i am not going to go for example, you need to for learning purposes, we can have a for school or personal or for on projects for on projects. Right now we can enter the name, full name. And for example, uh, I have using PM networking platform organization. So I am just write this network. Similarly, we can have phone numbers for India, which I am having and and we can access further things. 
okay let me make it work uh, enter everything so i have successfully entered my all the uh, information of my address and now we can have a debit card information here and we can use it to create an account and verify our step it will just um, accord it will cut um, account and uh, account few of the charges as you can see it's hold up to one one usd dollars for for three to five days they are for only verification purpose and it is for a temporary and it will be just uh, it will be come back to our account after the verification is completed so i am not making right now you can proce proceed it yourself so now we go further for it now it is already as we have now we can see after opening an account it looks like something similar to this wait a second so here we are on the console so we are going to sign in it uh, so i have my account So here we got the access to our console it looks like similarly and we have here search options and further services how can i can see our cost uses and further things when we create an account and you will do not have this these options as you have these at present used any of the services so further we need to use and we will see the further things in further classes now what is what are regions and what is availability zone when we think about a region it basically means that uh, a physical place or geographical area where we can we can have uh, all the infrastructure place and here in the in a geographical area which is region we have two one or more availability zones and it is not uh, not uh, permanent or we cannot say that uh, every uh, every region should have um, unlim um, or three similar kind of availability zones everyone have one two or three it's on as the deployment models of the and with the places which we deploy in availability zone availability zones basically are a distant area in a particular region and but when we say about the data center they are basically the all the infrastructure deployed for example when we search data center it's so we can see how data centers look like so here we can see that data centers have all the racks like this and in which we have cpus and uh, all the networking wires are connected to each other and this place is very cold place uh, and kept in a very low temperature so that the infrastructure do not get destroyed due to temperature issue 